Good evening, Taney County, Missouri, and Pike County, Missouri. This is your writer chick slash gospel chick of the Ozarks, Miss Carrie Ann Mitchell for the Best Bets of Branson. And I am here at Clay Cooper Theater this evening, and I've just seen one fantastic show. Let me tell you, folks, Clay Cooper is out of sight. He is fantastic. High energy, a lot of dancing, singing, good comedy, you name it. This show has got it. And I'm sitting next to one beautiful lady right here. This is his wife. Thank you. Tina. Now, <laughs> Tina, tell me, now, how long has Clay been here? He actually came here when he was 16 years old, which would have been 1986. Wow, wow. And, um, okay, now, explain something to me. I, I heard, now, was he on... Um, was he on a talent competition at one time, or did he? Was he just how was he discovered and brought to Branson? Uh, they were having auditions for a show called the uh, Texas Gold Miners. They were putting together a band called the Texas Gold Miners, and okay. he actually came and auditioned for that. And they were brought up here to Branson to audition, and um, they were hired. And so that was at the Seventy Six Music Hall back then, which is now Grand Country Grand Music Country. Hall. And right. he just stayed. Wow. He, um, 16 years old, moved up here, and hadn't left. Loves it. I tell you what, he's wonderful. Now, um, you guys have some great, you have your kids in the show. What does that mean to you to, to see your, your kids in the show? It's um, it's just different, you know, when you, you don't realize that you're working with them every single day, and then every once in a while you actually pull yourself out of the show just to kind of watch what's going on. You're just wow, that's my kid up there, you know? <laughs> it's really neat, and, it, and it's funny because it's the times that we don't get to see them on, I mean, when we don't see them on our stage, when we see them performing in other things, yeah. that's when we really realize what's going on, yeah. and it's incredible. You know, we're so fortunate, so blessed to be able to do something with our entire family that everybody's enjoying doing. I mean, our kids would not have it any other way. Right, when they're right. not working, they still want to be up here playing. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's really funny to watch them in this setting yeah. yeah well it's gotta it's gotta make you feel good to see him up there singing oh. and having a good time and, yes and being a part of something where where you're all together and you're here in one town in one city you get to work and then you get to go home and be together and that that means a lot i'm sure it does you know there's so many people that ask clay or you know they'll ask some of our dancers don't you want to go to broadway and you know they'll ask clay why didn't you go to nashville and you know, sometimes I just feel like, man, why? Why would we? Yeah. You know, yeah. we're getting to do what we love to do in a town that's pretty safe, and our kids are getting great education, and they're getting to perform and do what they love, and then they still get to play football, basketball, do all those kinds of things. And, and we have a dad that he gets to come home every night. He's yeah. not having to go out on the road or any of that kind of stuff. So we feel really blessed to be able to do what we're getting to do here. Yeah. Now, now, in the show, you guys have a lot of great uh, dancers and singers, and and uh, you have a great band, and uh, and you got a couple of comedians now. Matt Gum, he goes to your church. Yes, Matt Gum is actually the worship leader at our church, and then um, he came from uh, from Lake of the Ozarks. Oh. Okay. And he and his daddy and his mom all did a show up there, and then um, we moved him down here in 2007, I believe. Wow. And he started with us then, and then he's just stayed with us ever since. But yeah, he is crazy talented. He's also in our Hot Rods and High Heels show, that's our 50s show, and he plays just the drums, and then he plays um, a couple of other instruments and seems backup vocals on that show. Wow. Well, now so I saw totally that. different. That totally show different, was wonderful. You know? Yeah, I saw that today, and, and Gina Kilbane is my best friend. I've known her for 23 oh, years. Wow. I knew Gina here when I, when I was here in the 90s, and, and uh, I tell you what, they do a fab, fabulous job, yes, fantastic they job. they do a great job. Now, I have to ask you, uh, your husband came down on a wire tonight. Yes. He did He did a little zip line uh -huh. stunt. And, and does that kind of make you scared seeing him do stuff like that? Oh, well, it did for a long time. <laughs> but um, the guy that put it in, his name is Jared Story, and he has a zip line company here in town. And he just, they take great care of it. They yeah. check it. They make sure they'll come in when we're not even around and, and double check and make sure the line's great and everything's yeah. tight. and. If things need to be oiled or whatever they do up there, he takes care of all that. So right. after my first year of him being that safe, it made me feel a lot better about him <laughs> being up there. <laughs> now, how long have you been singing and dancing? Well, my mother was my dance teacher, so yeah. I've been doing that since I was about three years old. And I wasn't competing until probably 10 or 11. Um, and then when I went, I went to the University of Oklahoma and got a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Music Theater. And so after that, I went and did cruise ships. I worked in Nashville for a year, then I went on cruise ships for a couple of years, and then my best friend from college 
Uh, his name is Chris Tucker and he actually asked me if I would come to Branson wow. and help choreograph Red Hot and Blue. Oh, wow. And so that was in 1996, and I said, yeah, I'll come out. I'm like, where is Branson, you know? <laughs> uh, and at that time, I kept hearing about the Rockettes, and I also kept hearing about the fiddle player, Shoji. Yeah. So um, I came out, and I just loved the town. It was it was incredible. Um, the town was packed. There were just so many people. It was Christmas time. Yeah. And um, he kept telling me, now, I want you to go out to New York and do what you want to do. But I just, I, I came here. I went and started working at Country Night as a swing. Um, performing when other people needed days off and then I ended up getting a full-time position there and the next thing I know I was in love with my husband and one thing led to another <laughs> we got married in 99 and that was it you know I just love it for, love, was it love at first sight it was I, I do believe so but yeah and most, well I tell you what Branson has it all it's got you know there's it's family oriented and you know I feel God is here Yes. Not about you, but I feel God is here. There's all kinds of age groups that come here. It's good to see the tour buses coming back to the city. And you guys have one amazing show. You guys mix it up and you make it fun. And, and everybody seems to enjoy what you do. And we're so glad that you're here in Brants. And I tell you what, Thank folks, you. if you want to come see one heck of a show full of dancing and just good high energy and a mix of not just country, but you guys also do pop and a little bit of rock and you feature the band and, and it's just a mix of, of everything wonderful uh, of, as far as family entertainment's concerned. Don't miss Clay Cooper, folks, right here at Clay Cooper Theater. It's one heck of a good time, I tell you, right here in Branson, Missouri. This is your writer chick slash gospel chick of the Ozarks, Miss Carrie Ann Mitchell, for the best bets of Branson, saying remember, folks, to keep God in your heart and remember, always keep looking up. Come see Clay and Tina right here, Bye. guys. Thank Bye. You.